Hello and welcome back to my United States of America Imperial Victoria 2 Ultimate Mod Let's Play. Now, last episode we actually uh, gained a bit more land, I believe. Unless that was the episode before. It's been a while since I actually recorded, so I can't quite remember. But um, yeah, we're starting to form an empire, as you can see. We've actually got uh, a little African colony now. Um, we're actually adding, well, influencing people and um, increasing our opinion of them. Hopefully we'll get some a few people in our sphere, possibly Korea and Japan and stuff, people like that, uh, which would be quite good. Uh, we took Florida as well, which was very nice to see. Uh, so, at the moment, not too bad, uh, especially given the start that we actually had with France and everyone. Um, yeah, Britain doing okay, allied with Russia, however, uh, I would, oh sorry, Austria. I would like to be allied with them, but they won't accept, because they're allied with Austria, so they don't want me. Uh, the Papal States is a great power that I just see. Yes, Jesus, or PayPal, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's quite strange. Puppets, Italy, ah, oh, oh, it's France that's allied with Russia. Spain is actually not a great power, it is number 10. Um, I could possibly try and attack them again when I get where the truth finishes. Oh fuck, I forgot about this army here. Go back home, lads. Go back home. Um, money wise, pretty good. 250, should we say, average income. Better get saving though, haven't we? Um, I think we've been building quite a few forts, probably. Yeah, forts and railways and ba naval bases and whatever. So yeah, we're expanding forts and stuff. Um, what do we want to get then? Do we want to improve our navy? Could get commerce. Uh, what's our biggest income? Tax, I believe, and tariffs. Uh, okay, let's get stock exchange, and that'll increase our tax efficiency, so it'll, it'll give us a bit more income. Right, so I do actually think we have added forts everywhere so far. Uh, we're going to keep saving our money up, though, and we can get a new national focus, so I think we will do that. What is our national focus on currently? I believe it's soldiers, which it is. Um, where's the population the most dense? Probably the east coast, isn't it? Got soldiers there. Uh, maybe we should add one up here. What do we want to encourage then? We're actually the number one, apparently. Uh, prestige and industries funding that. Are we number one for industry? No, we're second. Uh, okay, maybe we could improve our industry then. Oh sorry, should not improve but per se more like increase. Uh, we could get more capitalists or do we want more workers to fill the factories? Uh, I don't know to be honest. Uh, hmm, what else could we get? We could increase the... I mean there's only one... Oh no, the wigs are here. The Whigs have been born. I don't particularly want to be a Whig government though, do I? Build factories, no, but I can do a lot of stuff. Democratic Party, I can't build factories anyway. So they do the same thing. The Southern Democrats, however, you can do that. Apart from I can't open a foreign factory. Hmm, I don't know what to do. Uh. Uh, right, well, we could just go for uh, clerks, that improves admin, I think, admin efficiency. Could go the reactionary way, which is Southern Democrats. What is the party loyalty anyway at? Fairly conservative, isn't it? We're getting a big liberal hotspot there in Huntington. Same in Vicks Vicksburg. Uh, 
Right, I think we'll just, at the moment, we shall go for capitalist. It's just the easiest thing. Like, I never really know what to pick, and I think capitalist is good just because it helps us build factories and improve our industry, basically. Uh, we can actually increase our opinion of Pomerania. Um, we could do, actually do some reform as well. Do we want to do reforms? Is there any major movements? What's this for? Non-secret ballots? I'm happy to do that, to be honest. Uh, the Conservatives are massively... I mean, people's voters' ideology is actually very liberal. Uh, even though the upper house is like... So it's... Liberals are 39% in voter ideology ideology but 28% in actual upper house seats so I don't know how it's gonna work but um, Portugal is our ally and our friend uh, they're not actually a major power as well which is good because it does leave, leave us open to try and form an alliance when Britain possibly cancels it or maybe even someone else uh, I would like Britain though just because they can help me with the whole France problem uh, Spain can I no, I can't. We've still got a truce. Hmm. What's our population makeup and our nationalities? Uh, currently, Dakota. Got a lot of French people over up here. Which is a real shame. Um, French and Native American. Native American. Yankee, Dixie. It's weird all these Yankees in the South. But yeah, mainly Yankee. Inuit, Norwegian. Hopefully we can sort of uh, convert these places in some form or another. Which I think we will do. Encourage migration and stuff. Um, right. Get in the stock exchange, that'll be quite good. Uh, I think I might actually go colonial power points. Do I want any colonial power? Like, do I need any at the moment? Obviously, I want some later on for Africa, but I don't think I need any just yet. I do need to try and get in 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 Asia as well. That is something that I need to do. Uh, Japan, would you form an alliance with me? In for me. My from is not very good. Distance as well. Government type. Yeah. Okay then. They probably will accept them. It's not too bad though. Uh, right. A new tech. God, I never know what to pick. Positivism. Research points. Research points would be good. It'd help us research faster. Uh, I'm pretty sure research points affects literacy, does it? Uh, I think we'll go for that. I don't want to go for some army stuff. I need a bit of navy though, don't I, really? Right, okay, we'll go for steamers. We can start improving our navy. I think that'd be pretty good. Hawaii. Not actually in the sphere of anyone. I can actually declare war. I'm tempted to try and conquest them now. However, I would have to go all the way around South Africa, South Africa, South America. So I'm, I don't think my navy can quite do that, which probably gives me a good reason to actually try and and improve my navy. Right. I've come to the conclusion that I think we should start to build another, a third army, basically. Uh, we have our second, for some reason they're called US Dragoons, which I don't want them to be called that, so we'll call these the first army. Um, and I think we shall build a third. After we've got some research though, um, so now we can get, what can we get, Commerce Raiders? I can't get it yet. I'm guessing I need to get... Uh, which one's for naval base? That one. So I need to get this one, which will give me... Right, I need to get post... 
Nelsonian Fort, and then I can get Battleship Column Doctrine, and I can get a new naval base, and I can upgrade my... So I need two more research until I can actually upgrade my navy. Which sort of sucks, but I don't suppose it's too bad. Uh, I will decrease the speed, and I think uh, we might as well try and get a third army, and it'll help us defend, won't it? So we'll get two of them. What is our army makeup currently? No, it's not two of them, actually. It's one of them. One of them. Uh, two dragoons. And then eight infantry, I think. Or was it six? I think it's eight. Yep. So we'll get that. Uh, two there. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. There we go. Hopefully we can afford it. And hopefully we'll still earn a bit of money. Uh, I mean, if, if our army sort of stays the same, which I don't see why, how it could, if we're spending more on the army, then I shall build a fourth. And then maybe a fifth. Uh, I mean, I do want to start cutting tariffs as well, because that'll eventually, that'll actually bring more investment in and stuff. Which would be quite nice to have. So I'm going to actually cut tariffs to 22%. That should be quite good. Um, so what, can we actually build anything? Oh shit, we can actually build stuff with a level... What level is this? Level 1 naval base. Alright. Oh, so... Okay, we'll start replacing our frigates then. Um, even though we can, we only actually have 10, so there's not really going to be... Although we might as well replace it all, seeing as though we can get modern transport now, so we'll get rid of them all. Like that. We'll keep our 10 Man of Wars, seeing as they're not currently outdated until we get ironclads. Uh, so here we shall just get 5 of them. 5 there as well. Uh, we'll get another 5. Down here we shall get 5 Commerce Raiders. Same again. And same again. Now that'll be quite costly, but I think we can just about afford it. I might also get five more Man of Wars as well. Because they're pretty decent. Especially when we're going to be co eventually coming up against Britain, aren't we? Well, that didn't take too long to research. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, well, now we found that out, we do actually really need to get Battleship Column Doctrine. Two, just two yet. Just yet. Doesn't make any sense. Just yet, should I say. Supply range we will get, I think. But I don't think we'll do it yet. Commerce, uh, maybe we should probably start investing in a market structure because that will give us mining output and, f and farm farming output plus 10%, which is quite good. Um, and plus, especially since our economy is going to start dropping. When are we going to station this new army, then? That's the question. Uh, probably up here in Goodland. Sounds like a good land to put it in. But a dum dum. Shh, that was not funny. Right. So actually getting a lot of money. So we're not too bad badly done to by expanding our navy and our and our army, are we? It's actually done really well. Okay, let's drop another percentage point. I'm not gonna do it too drastically, the you know, the scrapping of tariffs. I'm trying to go more towards free trade, and obviously bringing down tariff barriers is the best way to do that. Um, while we're earning a bit of cash, why not drop the amount we are actually coming in? We actually have coming in. Uh, it seems a bit silly, seems as we should really be trying to save up as much as possible, but um, it'll help us out in the long run, run I think. Um, how long is it going to take to get in your, our new navy? Because if we get attacked now... Not too far, is it? No. Um, I'm guessing we're probably waiting on like engines and stuff. So maybe we could try and. I'm guessing we don't have any engine factories. I can't have a look and build any. Okay. In New England, um, 
New England. It's not really working, that is it. So we will swap to engines if we can. What's the shipping industry? Encouragement of sailing convoys. Textile is dye, fabric, regular clothes, luxury clothes. Paper, basic industry, machine parts, construction materials, and steel. Armaments, explosive fertilizer. Oil. Oh, there's no engines one. I suppose we could encourage the armament industry though, because why not? Um, America is actually, I think, the biggest exporter of arms in the world right now. 2016. So, why not start it off fairly fresh and early? Um, what's our military score? 111, so our military score is at least going up. We was 11th in the world. That's nice to see. We want that military score. And I think Spain must be about ready yet. God, we've still got a truce. Ah, that's the worst thing about waiting for on, on Victoria too, is waiting for truce to end. Um, we could possibly attack Algeria or Tunisia. Or even Malta. Because we can access there. It's a lot easier than getting to Hawaii, for example. Um, do we want to do that? I think I do actually. I can always send some people to the fair rounds as like a little break. As a halfway point. Uh, it will stir tensions up uh, around here though, because I know France and Britain quite often take in, so does the, uh, the Ottomans. So, but it'll give me a ma another entrance into Africa, won't it? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to establish a protectorate. Protectorate. Um, I'm going to get rid of these newspapers as well. Although I don't want to do it just yet, since we don't have any transport ships. No, I don't. It's pointless doing it just yet. A uh, new text just come through, so we'll have to have another decision. We can do it again, business regulations, but I don't think we will. Uh, I think we will actually go for supply range in naval plans. Um, what I have realised as well is that we're not, I don't know why I'm cutting tariffs when we haven't even maxed out all of our spending. I mean, our money's actually gone up now that we've just got that new tech. But, like, we haven't on full education, are we? So, if I can put that up to the top, which, as it seems, I can be a new election, um, I need to increase my defence spending as well. So, administration can stay at 12%. It's like staying at a good 100% at that point, so... That's okay, but we do want to use our defence spending. Ever so slightly. And I don't know, actually know what this does. Paying your soldiers and off officers. I guess that makes the morale increase faster. Or like, stay at a good rate. We'll, we'll go for state capitalism. Although, am I actually wanting to go towards the Southern Democrats. I know someone did comment in the comment section not so long back saying change to Southern Democrats. They're there for protectionism, state capitalism. So I, I have actually gone for one of their policies anyway. So Our Navy is slowly but surely coming. But it's taking a long time, isn't it? And it is because we have a lack of engines. I mean, our main concern at the moment is actually having a transport fleet. Which we don't currently have. But, it's fine. We've nearly got naval plans already, so that's fine. Uh, what shall we get then? The command principle. Uh, another culture one. We could get another national focus, colonial education points. Yeah, we're going to get that. God, our money suddenly dropped. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next episode.
Um, give me some suggestions in the comments below if you haven't already, and yeah, thank you, and goodbye.